Today, we'll be looking at the audio loopback feature on the Audient ID44 audio interface, when you'd use it, and how it works. Audio loopback enables you to record your computer audio alongside your microphones in your audio software. Imagine plugging a cable from the outputs and bringing it straight back into the inputs so you can record your audio from your computer. This is exactly what audio loopback is doing, but it all happens internally without the need for cables and while still allowing you to use your mic inputs for recording. Using audio loopback, you can record your computer's audio on separate channels to your microphones, enabling you to take more control over your audio when it comes to editing and mixing in your software, or you can combine your computer audio with your mic audio into a single channel to send to a stream or for software that only accepts one audio input at a time. So an example of where this would be useful is if you're creating a podcast and you want to interview someone via a video call and record that conversation, or maybe you have a gaming YouTube channel and you want to stream yourself playing a game with computer audio as well as your microphone while still using ID44 to listen to everything on your headphones. There are a number of other uses for audio loopback ranging from podcasting, streaming to content creation. It's really up to you to get creative with it. So how does it work on ID44? Well, when you select your inputs in your audio software, you will actually notice that there are 22 inputs listed instead of the 20 you would expect for your mic and digital inputs. Channels 21 and 22 are actually your loopback inputs, which are virtual inputs that we use to record your computer's audio. So create a new channel in your audio software of choice and select inputs 21 and 22, sometimes displayed as loopback 1 and 2, depending on your software. You're able to control exactly what is sent to the loopback inputs using the settings in the ID Mixer app. For more information on how to use the ID Mixer app, please check out the dedicated video on our channel. So first, ensure the ID app is open, then on a Mac, click on the ID icon in the menu bar, and on Windows, right-click on the ID icon in the system tray. You will notice the Set Loopback Source option. Each of these sources will change where the loopback audio is coming from. The door channels refer to the ID44 outputs listed in software, where door 1 and 2 will normally be the default audio output for most software when using ID44. So when you select this and play audio from any application, this audio will be sent to the loopback inputs and can be picked up in your audio software for recording. This is probably the simplest way to set up audio loopback. However, you will need to make sure you aren't listening back to your audio in your audio software as currently the output will be sent to your main computer outputs, which is being looped back into your door, therefore creating a feedback loop. So your options here are to either just ensure that you aren't monitoring any channels in your door and make sure you use the direct monitoring on ID44 to listen to your mics, or alternatively, you can make use of one of the other loopback sources. If you were to set the audio output of an application to door three and four or door five and six, and then select it as the loopback source, you'll achieve the same result of recording your chosen application's audio. However, without the risk of feedback from your door, so you can listen through your audio software without any issues. If you want to go down this route and the application you want to capture audio from doesn't allow you to change the audio output, then you can change the default audio output of your whole computer to these channels instead. On a Mac, go to Finder and click Applications. Then go to Utilities, and then click Audio MIDI Setup. Select ID44 from the list of devices and select Configure Speakers. Set your left and right output to either Analog 3 and 4 or Analog 5 and 6. On Windows, go to Settings, then System, then go to the Sound tab and change your output settings to Output 3 and 4 or Output 5 and 6. Now any audio from your computer will be sent to those output channels, which can then be picked up in the Loopback Source menu and sent through to your audio software. Each of the previous options are generally what you would use if you want to record your computer audio separately from your microphones. However, the next options for a good are combining audio into a single stereo channel. The master mix and cue mixes will enable you to build a mix using your mic inputs, digital inputs, and door returns, and send them to the loopback inputs in the same way that you might use the ID mixer to create custom headphone mixes. These are particularly useful if you're wanting to combine multiple signals, for example, microphones and computer audios into a single stereo signal in order to go out to a stream. Here, you can build your own mix of mic inputs and computer audio by just turning up the respective faders, which are then combined into a single stereo audio feed to be recorded or to go out to stream. 
When using any of these sources, you'll need to be mindful of creating feedback loops by listening to your inputs through your door or software while also sending it to the loopback inputs. Hopefully, this has given you an idea of what's possible with the audio loopback feature on ID44 Mark II and that you will enjoy using it on whatever you're working on. If you have any questions about how audio loopback works or about ID44 in general, then please leave a comment or get in touch with our support team. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more audience-related video content.